everyone, it's me again, Teacher Jane, and welcome to my channel. Witness mo ba ang fractions? Nahihirapan ka bang mag-change ng decimals to fractions or fractions to decimals? Kung gusto mong malaman, panoorin mo ang video na to hanggang sa huli. Handa ka na bang matuto? Tara, aral tayo. For today's topic, we are going to discuss changing fractions to decimals and vice versa. Objectives Express rational numbers from fraction form to decimal form and vice versa. Bago tayo magsimula, let's have first a short recall. So, naalala nyo ba ang decimal place value natin from the decimal point? Meron tayong whole numbers at the left side of the decimal point at the right side yung smaller value natin. Express the following in words. Number one, it is read as 7 tenths, 38 hundredths, 123 thousandths, 5 and 92 thousandths. Now, let's have an activity. Give the lowest form of the following fractions, meaning you're going to change the following fractions into its simplest form, or yung kuhain mo yung lowest fraction. Okay, number one, 25 over 30. So, to get its simplest form, we divide both the numerator and the denominator by 5. So, we will get 5 over 6. Ganun din sa number 2 na 10 over 35. The simplest form is 2 over 7. While yung number 3 at number 4 ay hindi natin sila pwedeng masimplify kasi naka simplest form na sila. Okay, next. Which fraction is not in its lowest term? What's up? How did I make you mine? Stay a minute, another minute Hold on a second, I love this moment, yeah Stay a minute, another minute Hold on a second, I love this moment, yeah A rational number is any number in the form A over B where A and B are integers and where B, the integer in the denominator, is a non-zero integer. The set of rational number is represented by A over B such that A and B are integers and B is not equal to zero. If A and B are positive integers and A less than B, it is called as proper fraction. If A is greater than B, then it is an improper fraction. A whole number 
if B divides exactly by A. Mixed fractions are fractions with whole number and a proper fraction. Stay a minute, another minute. Hold on a second, I love this moment, yeah. Just stay a minute, another minute. Hold on a second, I love this moment, yeah. A rational number is expressed as a ratio of two integers called as simple fractions. It is represented by either a terminating or a repeating decimal. A system of counting that is based on the number 10, 10th part, and power of 10 is called decimal system. A decimal number can be defined as a number whose whole number part and a fractional part is separated by a dot called decimal point. Ways to convert fractions to decimals To convert a fraction to decimal, divide the numerator dividend by its denominator divisor. Since a fraction bar denotes division, do the long division method. Pero kung may long method tayo, meron din tayong short method. Example number 1. Sa method na to, mag-iisip ka lang ng number na pwede natin i-multiply sa fractions para ang denominator ay maging 100, 1,000, or so. So halimbawa, 1 over 4. So multiply lang din natin siya ng 25 over 25. So 1 times 25 is 25, 4 times 25 is 100. So meron na tayong 25 over 100. So pag binasa natin, that is 25 hundredths. So if we write them in decimal, that is 0 0.25. Next is 2 over 5. So mag-isip ulit tayo ng number na para maging 100 ang ating denominator. So multiply them by 20 over 20. 2 times 20, we will get 40. 5 times 20 is 100. So, ang fraction na natin ngayon ay 40 over 100 and is read as 40 hundredths. So, if we write this in decimal form, we will get 0 0.40. But then, uh, 0 yung ating uh, last number. So, pwedeng hindi na natin siyang is isulat dahil pwede natin i-simplify yung 40 over 100 sa 4 over 10 or 4 tenths. When I wake up, I feel cozy, yeah. Can you hold up? Don't need no coffee yet. No makeup, how do you look so fine? Plus up, plus up, how did I make you mine? Stay a minute. Now, let's have another example. Ito na yung gagamitin natin yung long method or long division method. So, 3 over 8. So, remember, ang ating dividend ay yung numerator. Ang denominator natin ay ang ating divisor. So, 3 divided by 8 cannot be... So, we will add 0. Pag nag-add tayo ng 0, syempre, makakaroon na tayo ng decimal. So, 30 divided by 8 is equal to 3. 3 times 8 is 24. 30 minus 24 is 6. Bring down 0. 60 divided by 8, we got 7. 7 times 8 is 56. 60 minus 56 is 4. Then, bring down 0. So, 40 divided by 8 is 5. 5 times 8 is 40. 40 minus 40 is 0. Then, 3 over 8 is equal to 0 0.375. Hold on a second. Love this moment. Yeah. Next example. Hold on a second. Love this moment. Pansin nyo dito, ulit-ulit-ulit na lang tayo. So, ito yung tinatawag natin na repeating decimal or non-terminating decimal. So, uh, lalagyan natin siya ng bar sa taas. 
to denote continuity. Example number three. Let me know if you ever think that I am in trouble. Just stay a minute, another minute. Hold on a second, I love this moment. Yeah. Just stay a minute, another minute. Hold on a second, I love this moment. Yeah. Just stay a minute, another minute. Hold on a second, I love this moment. Ito naman sa example na to, ang numerator natin ang mas malaki. So, kaya meron tayong whole number. Again, paulit-ulit-uli ang 2 na nating nade-divide. So, lalagyan ulit natin ng bar sa taas to denote continuity. Now, convert the following decimals to fraction form. So, dapat marunong ka ang mag-lowest term ng fractions. So, number 1, we have 3 45 thousandths. So, that is 345 all over 1,000. So, to simplify it, divide both the numerator and the denominator by 5. You will get 69 all over 200. Okay, next we have 11 and 25 hundredths. So, the lowest term is 11 and 1 fourth. Next, we have 3 and 20 hundredths. So, the lowest term is 3 and 1 fifth. Next, we have 0 0.82 or 82 hundredths. The lowest term is 41 all over 50. Next, convert repeating decimals to fractions. Dito, ang tatandaan mo lang, write as many nines as the number of repeating digits in decimal. So, kung ilan yung repeating decimal, yun din yung number ng nine na ilalagay mo sa denominator. So, example, 1.3. So, kung matikita mo, meron tayong bar sa taas, it means continuous. Okay, sa so number 1, 1.3, isa lang number lang yung nauulit. So, isang 9 lang din yung denominator natin. So, 1 and 3 over 9. So, in 3 over 9, ang lowest term niya ay 1 third. So, 1 and 1 third ang equivalent ng 1.3. Next is 0 0.36. Kung mapapansin nyo, 2 digit yung naulit. So, if if we are going to write this in fraction, this becomes 36 all over 99. Then, ilowest term natin, 36 over 99. Divide both the numerator and the denominator by 9, you will get 4 all over 11. So, sa last example natin, meron tayong 5 and 12. 5.12121 and so on. So, kung mapapansin nyo, ang nauulit lang ay yung 12. So, this means this is 5 and 12. 12 over 99. So, so, the lowest term is 5 and 4 over 33. Which of these fractions is equivalent to 0 0.8? If you know the answer, write your answer in the comment box down below. At kung nagustuhan mo ang video na to, don't hesitate to like and share this video. At kung hindi ka pa nakasubscribe sa aking channel, mag-subscribe ka na and click that notification bell para updated ka sa upcoming videos ko. It's me again, Teacher Jane, na nagsasabing mat is fun!